In Ark, there are many different types of platforms, being platform saddles, cliff platforms, and ocean platforms. However, there's one type of platform that's often neglected in the Ark community, being the one that actually lets you build in a tree. This wipe, I'll be playing solo and trying to survive for as long as I can while living in a tiny tree house. And let's see how I get on. Alright boys, so as you can see I'm on Valgero here and I have a horse. The server's literally just wiped 5 minutes ago, and I managed to get in my no run and extinction fine so that's all good. Loads of maps are capped out now so I really want to get over to Scorched Earth as quickly as I can, so that I can get some forges up and get the metal cooking so I can make that tree platform. But first I need a PT as they don't actually spawn on Scorched Earth, so I'm gonna try and find a good one to tame up real quick, so I'll see you then. Oh thank god that- Arrow missed. Uh, I got a good PT. Come on. Oh, so why draw the ring? Yes, give me that. Thank you. Oh, so lucky. Alright boys, so I was going to go and do the obelisk thing again, but having said that, I think I'm definitely just going to instantly get raided because my video is now out, so people will be, uh, be on this server and looking for people who are doing that. Instead, I'm going to try and pull off an idea that I've had for a very long time. I'm going to try and build a tree base using one of them tree platforms. I'm just on Scorched Earth trying to drop farm here just so I can get a little bit of an early game kit up. That doesn't really help me right now much, but hey ho. Um, hopefully, I can just set up a little like, metal shack, get the metal for, for the tree platform. I think uh, it shouldn't be that much. 1800 metal, 1400 pace, 600 fiber. Okay, that shouldn't be too hard. Oh shit, that's got a parachute over there. Could try kill him. I guess got a riot shield and a whip. Pretty sure he just took a lot of damage off that. Got his bowlers, thank god. I need to ride this thing. Alright boys, so I'm just preparing enough forges to get the metal for the tree platform. We're going to need 1800 and so yeah, hopefully we can manage to do this. I'm hoping that this we can get enough metal down before this actually gets raided because it's gonna this is going to get raided. It's inevitable because of the how many people are on the server. But there should be enough metal down here. We also need the paste, but I think paste is like easier to make on here so we should be fine. Or we can just set up some beaver dams. So yeah, hopefully we can manage this. Cheeky little large tame. Why not? It's a 140 right by my forges. So yeah, why not? Well, boys, we got uh, level 1 from that 194 RG, I guess. Me deciding to tame two RGs because I'm really that smart and talented. Bro. This one hits PTs out, bro. That's so nice. Bro, what the f Someone's putting down a raid base. It's just autos. Oh no, it's got one, two heavy, no, four heavies. All right, uh, so I, we should have enough metal to make that tree platform. I think we have the paste for it as well. I'm literally just gonna go and upload this tree platform straight away and probably just ditch this base because yeah, this is definitely getting raided very soon. Um, there is literally a raid base right down where my bit, like the obelisk is. Uh, so yeah, people are definitely going to be coming over here very soon. That's why I need to get out of here as quickly as I can. Like, literally every second counts at this point. Um, yeah, hopefully we have enough. I think it's 1800. We have 1874. Okay, I think we have the paste as well. I think it's 1400 paste. Um, okay, we, we need to get a bit more paste. Wait, we might have some in the, uh, pestles. Maybe some? A 70 in there. Yeah, we should have enough defo. Yeah, decent. Um, and then put that in there, and then I think it's fiber as well. Can we make it? Uh, yeah, fiber. Do we have any fiber? Uh, yeah, we do. Tree platform made. Let's go. Uh, hopefully this makes and uh, we can get this uploaded. Let's go do that now. Uh, there's actually a drop near our base, I'm pretty sure. Uh, or there was. If there's not any more, that's not good. So we need to go to the obelisk and upload it. King Raptor. Okay, we have it uploaded. That's the main thing. Um... Let's get out of here, because people are going to be coming over here for the raid base very soon. Picked them off. Jeez. 
shit. I'm dead. I'm just getting out of here with my, with my shit, bro. I got that tree platform uploaded. I'm out. I got that tree platform uploaded at the perfect time. Just need to pray that that guy doesn't find me. I got PTs and shit and upload. I'm good. Alright boys, so I've chosen Fjorda as the place that I'm going to put my tree platform. Not only is it massive, uh, but it's actually going to be pretty easy to get element on here, which is what I'm banking on. Um, hopefully I'll be able to get tech turrets up pretty quickly, and that'll be really nice if I can. So uh, yeah, we'll try and do it. That's a stalker that's that's really nice actually. I'm using a PT, I'm using a stalker. I'm just trying to work out where would be the best place to put it, because you can't really put tree platforms that high up. And I, Do I want it close to Red Orb? Maybe, not really. I want it in this snow area. Um, is this the highest I can put it? I'm not really sure. Can I put it any higher? Yeah, there's no snap point if I go up here. So I think this might have to be the play. This does seem pretty alright. I reckon we go for it. Um, it is kind of obvious, but... I mean, there's not really that many places where I can put it that it won't be obvious. Um, let's start by just getting some forges down, I guess. Right, so I've got all the wood. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's in, like you can literally put one wood in a forge on this server for some reason. It's kind of messed up. Um, but I'm literally just going to go to Genesis 2. I'm putting all the metal I have in forges for now, obviously. Um, but I'm literally just going to go to Genesis 2, go and get a shit ton of metal with the uh, tech, tech glove like punch thing. And then, uh, yeah, I'll see you boys when I've done that. Hopefully, I can get some oil and stuff to make a fabricator along the way. So, yeah, it should be Gucci. Alright, we have the pestles down, let's just make loads and loads of paste while I go out and get oil. Um, if I can get loads of oil, then we can get the fabricator up. I also need spark powder, so I'll queue some of that if I have the flint for it. Do I have the flint for it? I have a little bit. So yeah, that'll do. And then we'll queue the rest into paste. Oh shit, no, we can just do this. And then we can get, like, double um, the amount of spark powder going while I'm gone. Uh, where is that flint? There we go. Do that and we'll turn the rest into CP. While I'm on Crystal Hours, I might as well get a bed down at the BP cave just so I can keep spawning in and running it if I need to, because I reckon that'll like be really like effective in the long run. I'm not sure if you can put like turrets in the BP cave on this server, but if you can't, then uh, yeah, we we eating good. There we are, lovely stuff. We have so we can literally just go on to Crystal Hours whenever we want and just run the BP cave. So yeah, not saying no to that. Now all I need to get is oil and pearls and maybe some crystal because it's Crystal Hours, but yeah, I don't know. Crystal's pretty easy to get otherwise. The good thing is, as well, I can literally just go and, like, whip up all the oil, because there is, like, an actual, like, oil island. Yes, this is exactly what we want. Look at- look, watch at the left, left of my screen now. Oh, look at that oil. That's all the oil we'll ever f***ing need. Yeah, love to see that. Awesome. Uh, and then we can go do the same with pearls, hopefully. Yeah, we can't whip up the ones that are over down here, but we can get loads of the ones that are in the shallow water over here, so yeah, that's gonna be nice. Uh, maybe it might be best to just jump off the stalker and do it. Oh shit, this guy there. Didn't know we had a mowing on him, but that lets us get all the uh, pearls for ourselves. Alright, so we're back in base, and hopefully I'll be able to make a fabricator now. I need to make a smithy first, actually. Uh, smithy, there we go. And hopefully we can make a fabricator, then quickly a generator, and get some turrets up ASAP. Go to your left, so that you're looking on basically like the side of the pillar, the crack on the side. And then, yeah, like that, and then just keep tapping W until you see the end of it there. So, and then just place it there. And then now all your cables will be central inside the pillar. How would I lower it though is the issue? Oh, like that. Like that. See? There you go. What could I do to that then? I don't really know. Nothing. I mean, you could put a box there. A storage box. Okay, yeah, we cover it with a box. Like one of the small storage boxes, yeah. Absolutely fuck finessed. <laughs> <laughs> this is optimal building. Look at that! Five bullets in each turret, lads. No way, that's crazy. When did I ask? <laughs> Insane, no one's soaking that, bro. 
Alright boys, so we're over here on Ragnarok. First order of business is going to be to check for some wyvern eggs. And then, uh, we're going to go and tame some mantis. As you can see, I made up myself a bug repellent here. Uh, let me check how long that lasts, actually. Okay, we've got five hours. Yeah, we're we Gucci. Um, yeah, so first of all, I'm going to go and check on some wyvern eggs. Let's make a tribe real quick, just to be safe. There we go. And we'll also check the desert drops and stuff as well, while we're taming some mantis. So yeah, we've got some uh, lots of stuff to do over here on this map. Level 20 and then level 45. Why are all the wyvern eggs shit? Oh! 155 lightning. Well, it's not the best, but it's pretty fucking good to get it like now on Ragnarok. For a lightning, I'll take it 100%. Should I just go back and raise this now? Then you get it the sooner you cap people. If you leave it too late, people are going to have better ones and then your one's just going to be worthless. Yeah, I'm fucking gone. Bye bye. Alright, back to base with that 155 lightning egg. Can this. Is this going to hatch here? Nah, it's still too cold. There's so many forges here, man. Maybe if I put it close to these ones. That's at least like 10 forges on it. Still? Forges do count to hatch wyvern eggs, right? I don't understand why. This isn't working. I reckon I'll bite the bullet and just make an egg incubator. We'll get this down, I guess, and then we'll hatch the egg, and then we'll, yeah, we'll wyvern, I guess. Chuck that there. Right, let's hatch this wyvern twins. Oi! No way! No! No way! Get the shit out Sub to Chantigo. Sub to Chantigo. That's insane. It's a shame they're shit stats, but that is pretty insane. Right, three wyverns are, I'll take it. That is actually insane, man. That was definitely worth it to hatch these. Great pog. Shot types of shot. It just killed someone. Okay. Uh well we know which side they're gonna be on. Um Thank god I was here for it. Is this PT gonna be flying somewhere? Uh they're looking over here. There he is, there's his body. Um Nothing really. Gacha crystal, insane profit. Polly, I mean, fair enough. Like, I didn't really have anything, so that's not ideal. I would appreciate it if he actually had something, but... Oh, it looks like my long leg just phases through PTs. That's pretty nice. Bro, can this guy just leave me alone? Alright, he's whipped. Uh, bowlers PT. No, come on, get the bowlers. Bowlered now. I really just need to land a few tranks and knock it out without getting bowlered. Come on. Bowlers. Come on, get out, bowler. Let's get my PT into safe place before it knocks out. How has this guy found me? I'm stuck. I can't do anything. I don't know what I do here because I've got like much more stuff than he does. I don't want to get out. Hold Killed him. Let's go. Oh my god. That guy was pissing me off so much.
Making a loadout mannequin is, is actually really busted. I think it has like 300 slots. Um, honestly, it's like they're basically budget vaults, and I'm pretty sure they take like three or four C4 to actually break as well. So uh, yeah, we'll just chuck this down uh, here. And then, yeah, 300 slots. That's pretty crazy, to be honest. Yeah, so all that stuff that was dumped in our fabricators is now dumped somewhere else, which is good. Um, I can take the, the ARB and fill up my turrets. That's good. We'll dump all this wyvern milk as well. If you guys didn't know, wyvern milk is actually insane. Shit. My turrets are probably out, knowing that. There's definitely people around. I can't leave my base at this point. If I do, it's going to be suicide. Um, I need grapples. I also need to get, get both of my... Um, both sides of my base covered. Right, it's everything's filled up. Uh, I need to get level 100 as well. I need heavies. I need everything. This is not good. Alright, boys. So I'm spawning in on Bauheimer. I'm actually going to go to the volcano to get some black pearls. Because if I get black pearls, I can then make a mining drill. And also, while I'm here, I reckon I'm going to go and see... Wait, actually, I don't know if a stalker can get up there. But I'm going to go see if someone has done the uh, good old obelisk build thing from my last video. Take out PT. Is it saddled? Yeah, it is. We'll go ahead and do that. Throw this out. Let's go check real quick. I doubt anyone's going to do it, right? No one's as dumb as me, right? Oh, shit, my PT's out, Stan. Yeah, no chance. No one is as dumb as me, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even know I expected that. We'll just cry upon this and just jump down, I guess. Do not know what the hell magma array I got, but I got one. Um, I got a level 20. Shit. Nice basilisk food right there. Alright, let's get back and let's make this drill. So that's where I'm going to have to end the episode, boys. This series is actually going to continue for a fair while longer, and I actually end up upgrading my tree base to tech, and doing everything solo as well as raiding a load of bases. So let me know if you're excited for it down below. I want to shout out all my members, you guys have been insane on the support and I really do appreciate it, and they actually got to see this video a few days early. So feel free to become a member if you're interested in that, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.